Maybe this one because it's got tomes. Down. Maybe I can use this dagger. God, he moves so fucking weirdly. Look, look at... Fuck out of here, dude. Get off my dick, bruh. Buddy. It's not that one. Fuck it, I've tried this one, haven't I? Dagger, part of Sanders. God legend, damn it. Or was he seeking to Okay, it's a it's a weird twisty one. <sighs> okay. Got it. I know what to look for. Twisty dagger, twisty dagger. Are you twisty? You're not twisty. Neither are you. You're twisty. Give me that shit. This dagger. Looks different. Fuck you out of here. I'm about to stab the fuck out of this fucking painting. Yeah. Oh, he's angry. Stab him. Jesus, that took way too long. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Whew. You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? <laughs> it, it's nothing. I, I, I think I just drank too much. That goes without saying. If you can't tell the difference between reality and fiction, then you're in real trouble. I lied because she picked me up before last time for lying and I'm thinking if I lied she knew that there was something else going on you knew you knew about the beast what are you talking about I think yourself lucky that I saved your hand even if it was to save my goods you mean me don't flatter yourself sweetheart I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. That's very helpful. 
It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now go see your antique seller. I've still got things to settle with Irene. Oof, the Shambler turned out to be much worse than an artwork painted by Sarah Hawkins, as a huge creature came out of the painting to attack Pierce. After a hard fight, the detective managed to send it back into the painting. He later discovered that the dagger he used to repel the creature had been sold to Sanders by a man named Alagorn Drake, the owner of the Nameless Bookstore. Pierce decides to pay the library a visit. Uh-oh. That's been a matter. Where is the bookseller? Freud's The Interpretation of Dreams. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. Nice. <coughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know why he gave me lantern oil during that fight, though. I mean, I didn't use it. What happened here? <sighs> Let's start over. Where did they break in from? Probably Blood. here. Seems like amateur work. No sign of struggle. The burglar smashed this jar. It wasn't intentionally. <sighs> Was he hurt then? What killed all these animals? What sort of thief leaves his... T what happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? So many questions. What the... Charles Hawkins? Oh, is that the... What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? I know what that Sarah is. Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. I know exactly what that is. Okay, this got ranked, like, this just got ratcheted up to, like, level 10. Holy fuck. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Uh... I know exactly what is in here, and I don't like it. How do I... Okay, cool. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Whoever reads these lines and demonstrates... Uh, order is the pleasure, blah, blah, blah.
Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? They need them. What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? Boom, 2053. Right? How many? Fuck. Oh, Jesus, so many fucking books. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. Did someone say Arkham? Detective Lupus Arkham on the case. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions. Never heard of him. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions. What the fuck? Where this? Never heard of him. It's got something to do with these books. Probably shouldn't have the lantern out, right? Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. Ah, there's a phonograph somewhere. Right? Phonograph. The Book of Zion is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's theosophical movement. Its followers place truth on the same foot. Yeah, I bet you're fun at parties. The guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham Editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seems particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. Volume 9, huh? The Chalice of Knowledge. Volume 9. What did Drake say about this collection? Volume 3. Drake talked about a volume 1. Vol so these are the volumes that Drake was talking What did Drake say about this collection? Drake talked about uh -huh. a particular volume. I thought it was 918 because it's volume 9 and someone was 18. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his mess. What did Drake say about this collection? This collection of poems was essentially received in the public in 1908. Or 98? say about this one? Uh, I'm sorry. Dear friend, 
I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seems particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard. Of the the queen has little protection. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. The queen has little protection. So there's. So there's four white pieces. Hang on. Four white pieces. That's number th two. I think I've got this one. So this one's nine. This one's two. And I need to find the chalice. Something about this thingy. The chalice of knowledge. What did he say about it? Red drops, like precious stones, lie Red drops. set in divine drops. The chalice of knowledge. Wait, how many are there? One, two, three, four. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect you from five. Right? You confess. I am willing to pay to know its secret. Wait, oh, it, it fucked up. <laughs> I can just brute force it, I guess. Nope. Uh, there we go. Maybe it's something wrong with the chest thingy. There's five, the right? Chalice of Knowledge. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so it's five. Okay, so it's something to do with the chess board. The Queen has little protection. Maybe mm, it's just three. If it's talking about the protection. Oh god, I got it. It is... Dun dun dun... The Necronomicon. Immediately opens it. Don't do it. Mm-hmm. 